Alex is begging Jade to rejoin the squad. Is she gonna give in though? Watch the video to the very end to find out what happens next. Will she stay loyal to the Zack Pack? Find out. Welcome back to another video here on String Blocks. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how Inquisitor Master is begging for Jade to rejoin the squad. Could you imagine if this were to happen? After all that happened this year, we just don't see it happening. And if it does, wow, crazy turn of events. But if this rivalry has taught us anything, we know to expect the unexpected, and that's what's been happening these past few months. But with all that being said, before we start, we ask for you to click that subscribe button and post notification bell. We post content just like this very video, and it would be a shame if you missed out on any of it. Anyways, with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. Additionally, Alex posted an Instagram story stating that Zack had cheated on her. This could possibly mean that their relationship had ended for good. Alex has also stated that she planned all of the dates, wishing her relationship could really be that way. This might mean that the two of them were never really happy with their relationship in the first place. It's unknown if he went with it to get a girlfriend or to get fame, but since his mental health is getting pretty damaged to the criticism, the second theory is probably false. Here's what Alex had to say on Instagram about the situation. Some have a theory that it's incorrect, but some say it's true. Getting cheated on has been so damaging to my mental health. I wondered why I wasn't good enough. Being in an extremely toxic and abusive relationship has given me so many anxiety attacks. I fell in love with someone who constantly hurt me. He made me feel I deserved it. We put an image of our relationship online that was false. A lot of the cute surprises and dates in videos and pictures were all planned by me to make it seem our relationship was beautiful, but I was only hurting myself wishing our relationship could really be that way. After that was posted, people called her a liar and some agreed with her. Sadly, we will never know the full story, so we can only assume who's right and it seems to us that Zack was right in this whole situation. Zack left a response a few months later on his Instagram story. On July 17th, 2021, my ex posted false and defamatory statements about my character. These allegations have been hurtful and harming to me, my family, my friends, and my coworkers. Legally, I cannot comment on this. The truth will come out in the near future. Love you guys and hopefully this can help clear the air and I wish I could say more. Thank you to all the ones who have stuck by me and been there for me. When we do something wrong or fight with someone and we know we're in the wrong, we immediately jump at the chance to explain ourselves and hopefully smooth things over. After all, no one wants negativity and drama looming over them. While you may immediately be ready to accept your faults and bury the hatchet, the person you hurt will likely harbor a ton of resentment towards you. And while they may accept or listen to your initial apology, they need some space to process the incident and think about how they want to proceed in the long run. Taking time apart is not only healthy for any friendship, but some distance will give you both a chance to grow and isolate yourself from what went down. After cooling off a bit, you can both then approach the whole thing from a clearer state of mind and with less animosity. Use the time apart to really think about what you did and why you did it. Then, when the timing feels right, you can reach out to your friend again or see if you two are drawn to each other organically, which is oftentimes the case. We hope as time goes on, they can eventually all forgive each other, however long it may take. This is when you just focus on being a solid friend, whatever that entails. You don't want to come off as desperate or overeager, and you certainly do not want to beg, but just be there for your pal. If they need anything simple like a ride home from school to something a bit more committed like taking over a babysitting shift for them over the weekend so they can go on a date. Continue opening up to them about your own personal stuff when it's appropriate and show them that you value a trusting for relationship. And at the end of this all, Jay called her out on all the lies and rejected her. Well anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching here on String Blocks. We hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe. Also, watch the two videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next Roblox video. Goodbye.